Uh, um, yeah. So I went out and did this. Uh, she's brand new. Just got it in. Um, a couple things that I noticed, guys, and I'm not a um, a parts builder or nothing, but I know uh, I'm a common sense dude, and I know a little bit about mechanics and stuff. So there's two issues, or well, three issues that I'm seeing. Well, multiple issues, y'all, and y'all tell me what y'all think. But so I do believe that we're still going to be able to utilize this, and I'm going to tell you. So do you see this green line here? That green line is supposed to come all the way across and mark something on this housing here that knows how they that can tell them, okay, this is where it lined up. Someone who either must have been new at this or just they were in a hurry, they only marked the outside too, which made it to where now this is actually one bolt twisted the wrong way, okay? And I only know that because I've already taken the turbo down and they got it right here. And when I say that, you look, you see the mark on the bolt and it goes all the way across. That does not happen here, guys. Once again, I'm not a parts dude. I'm not saying that I'm smarter than the people who build it. I'm saying that I'm smart enough to know that this is not gonna line up to my hoses because it needs to be, this bracket needs to be taken off here and this whole entire housing unit needs to get turned one rotation. Now, I've also noticed a couple of other things too. In the machining process, I have two cuts. and See this groove down here that's cut into the metal? That's not supposed to be like that. That's supposed to be even finish, just like the other side. And I'm gonna kinda get down to where y'all can see it. But look at that cut inside of the metal where you can see the, the teeth from the blades. And then you can see the same thing over here underneath, but nothing like that at all. Well, yeah, look, it's got it there too. I mean, they all, they're all dug into the um, housing a little bit, the uh, actual, what happened? Oh, I, anyways, it dug into it a little bit. And then also, look at this. Do you notice inside of that how that's not flat? Like you can't, do you see how that's got a cut in it? And then over here, it's got the same thing. I don't understand, but I'm gonna bring it to the mechanic and with the gaskets that we have. And yeah, anyways, guys, I'm trying to get this truck right as rain. I'll go in to do a tow. I'll probably get it on video. Talk to y'all soon. All right, y'all. Um, so we're just going to talk quickly about when I pulled up to the situation, the mechanic was trying to get me to back up to the bay and load it in reverse, having the engine facing the rear of my truck and pulling it out of the bay. Um, guys, dude, there are situations when you get there, you cannot let someone tell you what to do. Right, you have to be like, um, well, you know, I was polite. I said, I appreciate your advice, man, but uh, I said, I can't load it on my truck backwards. I have to, I have to do it a little differently because my truck's a little different. And he was like, well, the other guy did it like this. I said, yeah, well, my truck is small. And he was very understanding, cool about it. Oh, okay, no problem, you know what I mean? But yeah, I have uh, had to kind of, you have to learn to, politely make sure that you're doing everything that you're supposed to be to be making sure that your truck and you are safe and doing things the best that and the safest that you can it is that serious all the time don't ever let anyone tell you for one second that one small one bad decision in this y'all and that's it not just for you it can be for others multiple people and we're not talking about just injury um with the weights that we deal with <laughs> and the resistances that we deal with and the equipment our trucks are dangerous tools that will absolutely kill you and people around you if you're not paying attention to what's going on um and that goes for the most experienced people i've heard of awful things happening to man just huh and there was a i could don't remember the guy's last name i know his first name was dale he is a dad single dad i believe yeah he was and uh he was loading one something happened and it come off the truck and it and it, and it ran over him okay squashed him so there's just 
so many things that can go south if you're not 100% sure of the actions that you're taking. And then not just that, if you're not 100% sure of your capabilities or your vehicle's capabilities or the customer's vehicle's capabilities. Knowledgeable. All of those things are extremely important. Uh, the traffic's not on. I'm gonna have to take some uh, memory off of this. I gotta delete some older videos because we might even run out in the middle of me loading this. So if that happens, you'll know why I just the video stops without me saying bye. But yeah, everything's been going great, y'all. Slammed. I'm busy. Every day busy. Uh, there's, there's not, there haven't been slow days lately. Not to say that I didn't have any in the beginning at all. Dang, it's luck. I don't want to walk behind this truck. But there hasn't been slow days. So it's been what I was hoping for. And now it's becoming... Uh, it's We're already contemplating and getting ready for the, another truck. And that's, that's legit. That we're, I'm writing down the numbers that we're missing already because I don't have a truck. Another truck. Um, service numbers, all of it. We're we're not messing around, y'all. I mean, what did it when when I started realizing a truck can make a quarter million, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a year, right? Once my brain saw that, it never went away, y'all. It has not. Ah. Alright, part with that. Here we go. Alright y'all, I'll be back. Alright y'all. So this weekend, taking that turbo and to the mechanic. turbo put on the truck and then the truck will for the first time since I've had her be uh, actually running all the way right like the way that we need it to um, it's don't get me wrong I'm not complaining that the truck has made us money to be able to earn this to be able to fix it up more and more truck is doing very good at what it's supposed to be doing very reliable you guys she's doing exactly for this i mean even guys this truck is doing phenomenal i have zero complaints and so i'm just happy that we're able to give her a little attention and treat her with some respect that the old girl deserves i know that once i get old i sure hope nobody throws me away and locks me up in a nursing home or a graveyard somewhere and forgets about me. I would much rather the people I took care of kind of help take care of me. Chuck's taking care of us so we're going to take care of it. It is that simple. today and I have uh, a couple gaskets to go get uh, to finish up all the work on the truck and then uh, let's see what else is there is it one or two other very small things that's got to happen but there uh, it's nothing big or serious Woo. all right
see all these windows up. Well, I'll be madder than son of a gun. I might drop my truck off, leave my windows down, and it raining. Nope. I'll be mad, boy. Alright y'all, let me uh let me get this information in in my uh phone and get all this stuff over here to the cus uh the mechanic for the keys and I truly appreciate y'all watching.